Hi, this is Jim Whitley from the World Famous Tool Shed located at 1073 Main Street in Worcester. Hours this week are Wednesday through Saturday, weather permitting, uh, 1 to 5. And we can be found on the web at www.use-tools.com. All right, let's take a look at some of the stuff we have this week. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone who's donated. This month, uh, the donation from the swear jar is going to the Shriners. We have a uh, friend of the tool shed who is uh, a Shriner and volunteers all types of time and energy and everything to the organization. So we'll be donating in his name. He's uh, He's got a fight going on right now, and we wish him all the best, and um, we will uh, donate in his name this month. So, anyways, uh, last month with the St. Jude's, it was $109.21. So, we have a ladder, uh, Werner ladder with the paint tray on it, that's $35. We have a Werner aluminum, six foot, that's $25. We got a couple huge chains, those are, uh, I think those are $60 each. We have a Campbell Hosfeld 60 gallon compressor. It does need the pressure switch. It is $225, it's never been used. Um, we have a bucket over there, it's $3. There's an engine stand that is, I think, $20. Uh, little bucket, $3. A uh, tire chalk, that is $7.50. Lincoln HD um, flux core welder, that is $140. We have a Craftsman toolbox, which all the drawers are over here. Uh, that is $100. I have the wheels at home, so I need to assemble this if I get around to it. Uh, in this box, if I can get to it, is a Makita sharpener, model 9820. Never been used. Brand new in the box. Has two extra wheels. And that is, I think, $250. Ryobi chop saw, that's 12 inch, that's $80. Some house jacks, $35, $42.50, $20 for this tarp, which is 20 by 30. Here is a 30 by 50. This is $40. Again, these have not been out of the package. Uh, rigid variable sc speed scroll saw, that is $60. More tarps. So here's another, I don't know, 25, 30 tarps. Um, 12 by 16. I know the glare is impossible to read. 12 by 16, those are 10. We have a 10 by 12, there's a whole bunch of those, 5, uh, 10 by 20, those are 10, and 16 by 20, those are 20, and 12 by 16, those are 10. Uh, shop towels, $2 each, a whole bunch of brake clean, those are all $2 each. Bargain table this week is at 25 cents. Have a set of ladder jacks, $50 for the pair, $65 for the Makita grinder. Uh, Bosch Bulldog, $55. We have a Bosch Hammer Drill. This is $250. A Werner 40-foot ladder, $225. This is like the bat utility belt. It's got more things on it. Uh, by the time you load this up, you won't be able to walk. But this is $40 for the whole kit and caboodle. Little tool chest, that is $7.50. Milwaukee tool belt, more reasonable for the average human being. This is $17.50. Uh, $8.50 for the ladder tray. Another tool belt. This one has suspenders, so you can really load it up with all types of crap. Um, for lack of a better word, I think this was $40 also. There is a uh, Lincoln uh, Porta Torch that is $150. It, uh, everything is new on it, but the torch is used. There is a Milwaukee one and a half ton come along that's $150. A Harbor Freight um, hose reel is $20. Bucks. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Ryobi right angle grinder, $22.50 whole bunch of brand new files. All the Nicholsons are two and three dollars and there's some odd ones in there that are a dollar each. Um, MIG Torch Rest Harbor Freight, five bucks. Eight dollars and fifty cents for the Weller gun. We have a vice over here, forty dollars. Uh, angle block, uh, right angle blocks, those are uh, fifteen dollars and ten dollars for the smaller one. Snap-on 
I think there's a 7.2 volt uh, quarter inch drive um, drill, the ratchet that uh, has three batteries, ratchet, screwdriver, drill driver, whatever it is, and the charger that is $300. All right, carving tools. Miller's Falls, a six, a, well, six real pieces, and then the stone. Six bucks, dollar fifty for the for the uh, little tray. Five dollars for the extension ladder covers. Craftsman nail gun, fifteen dollars. There are Bosch hammer drill bit sets, two of them. Those are fifteen dollars each, I believe. Sixty dollars for the Magnum drill, which is wrapped up. Uh, you could give this away as a present. It's brand new. Um, the heavy duty power strip, twelve dollars and fifty cents. Some handles, two dollars, two fifty in the middle there, one fifty on the right. Welding gloves or whatever fireplace gloves they call them, five bucks. Harbor Freight electrode holder, five dollars and fifty cents. Uh, ground clamps, three dollars and fifty cents. Lincoln. Um, welding wire, nine dollars and fifty cents. There's three rolls of that. I have a clamp here that is uh, seven dollars and fifty cents. Another clamp, four dollars. Some oddball thing. I don't know what the hell this is for, but it's uh, weird and unusual, and it's seven dollars. All right. Uh, right angle attachment for Milwaukee. This is forty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Lincoln mask. You can. We do have glass for this, so a piece of glass for that, five bucks. Welding blanket, five by five, fifteen dollars. Two dollars and fifty cents for the for the carry tray. Uh, toolbox, this is seven dollars and fifty cents. Move some stuff out of the way here if I can. All right, uh, six dollars and fifty cents for the vice grips. Flare wrenches, six dollars. Six dollars from our friends over at Harbor Freight. Two dollars for the pliers. Lyle set of Torx bits, that's twelve dollars and fifty cents. Two dollars for the pliers. Channel lock pliers, seven dollars. Needle nose, other needle nose, five dollars. The dikes are eight dollars. Dollar fifty for the level. Some brushes, those are two dollars each. Nine dollars for the channel locks. Three fifty for the non vice grip vice grips. Five dollars for the adjustable wrench. $2 for the um, power outlet, uh, $5 for the um, pliers, $4 for the other thingamabob. I know, you don't like it when you use technical terms. All right, big crane hoisting uh, thing, <laughs> $25. Sorry, I'm all discombobulated. All right. Bench, uh, general bench, um, what the hell do you call this damn thing? It's 20 bucks. Uh, bought, uh, Brown, Brown and Sharp Square, $15. There's a start. Uh, square, that's $50. Some little pin vices, those are $2 and $3. Uh, jeweler screwdrivers, that's $20. $10 for the for the countersinks, there are a Bridgeport cleanout tools, three of them, they are $5 each. We have some, two chargers, this one's $22.50, this one's $22.50. Uh, Husky torque wrenches, hold on, I'm digging. Oh, we get this other square, this is $60. $32.50 for this square, I'm sorry, $37.50. There is another builder's, Square. This is uh, $110. $9 for the impact driver. $2 for the scissors. $30. There are two Husky um, torque wrenches. $9 for that square. $1.50. We have $10 on the little vise. $5 on the non-vice grip, vice grip, the marking die, $2 each, $3 for the cutter, $5 for the tape, um, let's see, what else can I butcher, $7, seven, um, $70 for the 
U I E. I think that's it. U E. I'm sorry. U E I G two Phoenix uh, clamp on meter. Eight fifty for the for the Lennox um, hacksaw. Is a brake riveter. This is uh, I think it's ten dollars. There are a couple books, some woodworking books, two bucks, dollar fifty, dollar fifty, and some goggles. Those are a buck, and that's about it. And I know I have forgotten, God knows how many things. Anyways, that's long enough. You guys have uh, been tortured. Go to sleep now, and you're gonna need a stiff drink after watching this one. So, anyways, uh, thanks a lot for your support for the Shriners this month, and for all the support you've given. And uh, we shall see you soon. Thanks.